As we prepare for the 40 years of TNI, I would like to ask you about your reflections on the beginnings of TNI and its significance. Well, the, the Institute for Policy Studies in Washington, D.C., invited Orlando when he was in prison to come and be a fellow at the Institute for Policy Studies. So he came and then when I was able to leave the country, I came also. And I learned about the Institute and I, I learned about this idea that Sam Rubin has of having a place in Europe where people from the first world could meet with people in the third world. And I thought that was awesome. That was absolutely what we needed in this planet. And um, to my surprise, Orlando was appointed director of the TNI. So he had to go to Holland as soon as he arrived in the States. And then I realized that uh, Sam Rubin's idea had taken place and was really happening. And that Ed Jans had provided a house and um, everything was incredible. Well, my husband was assassinated a couple of years later. And in 1976, I was offered a job at the Institute for Policy Studies and I became a fellow and also a fellow of TNI. So I was able to go yeah. to that mythical place that <laughs> I only had heard of. Mm. It was so wonderful. Um, it was really happening. Mm. It was not only that people from the first world that were very, very interesting people but the people of the third world were fantastic. They had chosen very good people. And um, <clears throat> I learned so much. I found that the Europeans consider themselves to be so different from the whole world. <laughs> I had, I had a, a great time, yeah, meeting them, wonderful people. Very serious, very serious, all of them. Yeah. M my, uh, my great admiration from TNI was the idea that they had for the third world to regain honor, to regain knowledge, to, for people in Europe to know the real problems, not the anecdotal problems that they used to have from Africa, from Asia, from Latin America. Anyway, I think that now, to think that 40 years have elapsed, but it is in my face, 40 years more. Uh, I used to go every year there and meet all these wonderful people. Uh, they accepted me, although I brought strange things. Sometimes I brought uh, things from Chiloé, <laughs> the magic figures of Chiloé, the witches and many things, and they, <laughs> I guess they couldn't understand what I was doing. And also my Third World Women project that it was not what, what they expected from fellows mm -hmm. to be writing and giving uh, papers and books. And I was bringing third world women to speak in universities and then to get all the information at the institute. Uh, what put the institute in touch with people that they have never been in touch before. Anyway, it was a terrific, terrific experience and I am very grateful.